Good evening everyone. Welcome to another Tuesday check-in. We'll go through some of our upcoming events to start off with and uh, then have a little message for for you this evening. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday at 7 p.m., we'll have Reverend Matt Justice speaking at the service and the uh, NC4C team ministry will be meeting as well. Those are both at 7 p.m. Thursday at 10 a.m., once again, we'll have the women's Bible study that will begin, like I said, at 10 in the morning. And at 7 p.m., we will have our weekly biblical support group, When Tears Fall. And everyone is welcome and invited to come and join them for that. Uh, Sunday morning, we'll have Pastor Scott at 11 a.m. And at 6 p.m., we'll have... Reverend Jason Haga doing the service. Just a reminder, reminder that this weekend is our food bank weekend. So Friday morning, beginning around seven or so, they'll be uh, breaking things down, getting them ready for distribution. And then Saturday morning at 9 a.m., distribution will begin. And that usually runs to 1130-ish, somewhere around in there. So, uh, Spread the word if you know anyone that could uh, use a little little extra eats this month. Send them that way and uh, let them get what, what God's provided. Uh, wanted to say that next Tuesday, which will be the 27th at 7 p.m., just a reminder that there uh, is going to be a short leadership meeting. Pastor Scott says it won't last maybe a half hour or so. So if you're in leadership in the church, um, Please be there, and that once again will be next Tuesday the 27th at 7 p.m. I want to throw out a little reminder before we go on that if you haven't caught it yet, then uh, go back and check our Facebook page or the app or YouTube or wherever and um, check out the Women with a Vision study for this month that came online at 10 this morning. Very good study. And... Um, just throwing this out there don't know all the details yet but beginning next month for you ladies the women with a vision will be having their weekly or monthly meeting in person in church again so we'll probably probably still be recording those and uh, posting them for those that can't make it but it will be available in person again beginning in may we'll get more details out there as uh as we learn so I wanted to just talk a few minutes today um, a, a lot of things that, uh, that come in our life every day they're, they're the normal things they are things we have to get done we have to do we know we have to be here we have to be there and a lot of those things can really fill up a page in a date book or in a time book as I used to call them but if you remember, and some of you may still do it now, but years ago, in the margins of the Bibles, these little sections over here, people would jot down notes. You may still now, myself personally, where I, I use my phone a lot for the Bible or a tablet, I, I'm taking notes on a little notepad app or something like that with a little pen that comes with the phone, but this is how it used to be done. I remember when I was little and during church, of course, I wasn't paying attention because I was a little brat kid, but be playing with mom's Bible or granny's Bible or something, and there'd be little notes everywhere. Such and such preach this or, you know, uh, on this date or just the meaning of a word in the margin, showing that just a place to take a note. Now, this is a very small little travel Bible. It's teeny tiny, and I can, I'm getting old enough where I can just barely read what the words say, but even this little one still has margins on both sides of the pages now can you imagine what that would look like without the margins it'd just be words from top to bottom straight across left to right and every inch of white space just about every dot would about be covered up with text now you could get a lot more information on that you could get a lot more words and this Bible would probably just be a third of the way thickness that it is now. But it'd be very hard to read and it wouldn't do much good because it would just be all crammed in there together 
and it wouldn't be efficient, it wouldn't uh, be very helpful, and you wouldn't have the margins left to take notes in or jot down this, that, or the other. So the margins on a page are very important. I remember in high school when we were learning how to do business letters, you, you had certain margin widths for certain types of documents. And even now, if you use Microsoft Word, it has a standard setting for the margins, but you can change that. And if you make it where there's no margins whatsoever, it just makes everything look all out of whack and it's hard to read and it's just not very efficient at all. But when I'm talking about the date book, the time book, a lot of times our calendars get completely full of text, completely full of items, full of things that we have to get done. Now, the, the main thing in the middle, that would be your have to get done. That would be have to get up, have to go to work, have to be at ball practice, have to go to church, have to go to this meeting, have to do that, have to make this phone call, got this doctor's appointment. Those are the everyday life things. But too often, we fill all the space up. We take on too much and we start filling up, filling up the margins to where there's nothing left. And that may not sound that there's a, you know, that much of a big deal. You know, being busy is good. They say being busy will keep you from getting in trouble. You know, idle hands and all that stuff. But sometimes you can take on too much and when you start filling up the margins, everything gets out of whack. There's a lot more there, but it's just not as useful. It's not as efficient. You can't hardly get it all in. You see, the margins in our life are important because margins are where we have our quiet time with God. The margins are where we go out and play ball with the kids or where we take them fishing. The margins is where we can have a little bit of quiet time and downtime to talk and go over our day with our spouse or with our family. The margins include things like supper on the table. So years ago, that was the main thing. That was on your main part of the page. You know, everybody sit down and ate. But now, we put it in the margin. And if we fill up our margin with too many other things, it gets put completely off the page together. I'm guilty. A lot of us are guilty these days. And that dinner time is a good time to talk and converse with each other, family, wife, husband, kids, whoever may be there. But it gets pushed off the page because we have our margin filled up with too many other things. See, our margin is what builds us. All the other things during the middle of the day that are there every day and have to get done, your regular schedule, that's the things that most of the time you kind of find frustrating. Have to go to work. Got to go to that doctor's appointment. Have to go to the DMV. Those things aren't real pleasing most of the time. And it's in the margins when we grow. It's in the margins when we build our relationship with God. It's in the margins when we build our relationship with our family. I want to share a scripture with you. And since I do have this little Bible, the scriptures from it, and it is the HCSB version of the Bible, which I, I do enjoy. But it's from Ephesians 5, and it starts with verse 15. And it says, Pay careful attention then to how you walk, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So don't be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. And the King James Version that scripture, instead of saying making the most of the time, it says redeeming the time because the days are evil. And a lot of times this verse is used about using time wisely to, to not let you know idle time come in and overtake your mind or overtake your body, make us physically just bleh, but using time wisely. But in this instance, if our margins are completely full, of the have to's is that really using our time wisely because just like a page that's completely full of text it may have more on it it may have more information but we can't comprehend it all because it's harder to read 
It's harder to scan left to right and physically read on a page like that. And it's harder to take it all in. So if we have our margins full in our daily schedule, in our life, then something's going to be lacking because it's hard to take it all in. We may get each check mark bo or checkbox marked off, but something's lacking. Sure, if we have our margins full, we may be able to squeeze in some time talking to the kids or maybe a few minutes with the wife or husband, but it's going to be lacking compared to all the other things. So this is not a don't do extra things. This is just a, as the word says there, using your time wisely. Seek God's wisdom before we fill up our, our day planners and our calendars on our phones and our appointment books with just have to things because it's in the margins where we find things to help us grow. In that margin, you have those conversations that can grow a relationship. In that margin, you take time to go for a walk and just enjoy God's creation. You take time to work out. You take time to prepare a meal, you know, instead of just drive through in it. I like drive throughs Guilty. But those margins are very important. So it's important to leave space there. So we always have that extra time to put in the things that help us grow. We hope that uh, you've enjoyed that. We pray that everyone has a blessed week, and we'll see you next time on the Tuesday Check-In.